Today's video topic is the central cord syndrome. Central cord syndrome, or CCS, is a type of spinal cord injury that occurs when the nerves in the central portion of the spinal cord are damaged, which limits the brain's ability to send messages to these nerves. This injury usually leads to damage in the nerve fibers that control movement and sensation. This can result in paralysis, weakness, and loss of sensation in the arms or legs. Although relatively rare, the condition can be quite debilitating and can cause a great deal of pain and discomfort. Knowing the causes and available treatments can help you better manage the symptoms. Causes of Central Cord Syndrome Central Cord Syndrome is usually caused by a traumatic injury or event that affects the spine such as a motor vehicle accident or a fall. Other causes may include degenerative diseases, tumors, or nerve compression injuries. But the most common cause in young adults is the compression of the spinal cord from a herniated disc or trauma or fall. Symptoms of Central Cord Syndrome The symptoms of CCS depend on the severity of the injury and the portion of the spinal cord affected. But generally, the common symptoms include arm and leg weakness and lack of sensation, neck and shoulder pain, and bladder or bowel dysfunction. In more severe cases, people may also experience loss of sexual function and breathing problems. Some of these problems may start as soon as the injury happens and then get worse over time. Some other symptoms may develop over time after the injury and may take several weeks to appear. Treatment of Central Cord Syndrome The main goal for treatment of Central Cord Syndrome is to minimize further damage to the spinal cord and reduce the severity of symptoms. In the mild cases, the doctor may prescribe non-surgical treatments. Non-surgical treatments for central cord syndrome may include medications to reduce inflammation, pain, and spasticity, wearing a neck collar to help stabilize it. Physical therapy can also help patients regain strength and improve coordination. Therapies such as electrical stimulation, biofeedback, and chiropractic may also be beneficial. Surgery is typically recommended for central cord syndrome when there is evidence of nerve compression or severe damage to the spinal cord. Surgery may include decompression of the spinal cord and stabilization of the spine. At the end, living with central cord syndrome can be challenging, but there are ways to manage the symptoms. Most mild cases improve and regain most of their normal arm and hand movement in about six weeks. If the case is severe, then surgery will help reduce the compression on the spine to improve symptoms. So it's important to work with your doctor to find the best treatment plan for you. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.